Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Noting. In this episode, we're gonna take a look at this uh, really cool Blender add-on. Basically, uh, as it's called, is Audio Notes. It's by Normal Leaf, and this has been uh, in development for a few years. I think last time I checked, it was version 0.1. This one is actually version 1.0, and it's really easy uh, to use and to install. Uh, basically, to install, I think you need either Linux or Mac OS. Uh, if you are using Windows, you need to install something that allows you to do Linux stuff. Anyhow, on Mac, Mac OS, you just run this. This uh, brew um, will install Fluid Synth library. Once it's done, you don't need to think anything about it. You don't, you don't need to do the, the, the following. Basically, all you need to do is to go into the releases and grab the one for Mac OS. This is a compiled ver uh, version. Download the zip. Do not uncompress it. You just go to Blender and then install the add-on. So there's a few uh, demonstration uh, by himself and there is one video right here experimenting with audio notes, but this is pretty old one, but still pretty cool. Uh, you have a look. Um, I'll, I'm just gonna jump into it. I only tested last night and it seems to work fine. Um, so yeah, this is Blender user preferences and you just install the add-on and then go to your download folder and find this audio notes.zip. Once you do that, you can find the audio notes here. Just enable it. Um, so this is the creator. Create complex soundscapes in real time using notes. Okay. Pretty cool, let's get started. I'm, normally I just go to compositing. Yeah, in this case, we don't really need anything in 3D, but we can keep it like that. If you like, you can just make Susan head, just so that the scene is not very empty. But we don't need this for now. I'm gonna save it real quick. So this is a uh, intro audio notes. Okay, so now we can see there's a sphere chop, compositing, texture, audio notes. So that's the audio notes. If you create new, hopefully we can start making sound, making noise, make noise. So shift A, we have oscillator, mod, sync. Let's actually create all of this. The one that's really important is actually sync. Uh, once you plug something to sync and it, it will start to make sound So, you know math is all doing all the math stuff like spare chop animation notes Oscillator is the one that's really interesting and important. It will generate synth Whether it's a sine wave, saw, square, triangles, you just plug into the sync and if you increase the frequency, we can, we should be able to start to hear sound. Let me. Can you hear the sound? Uh, maybe I need to increase the amplitude. Unplugged. So the. Currently, the uh, the way I turn off the audio is just unplug it. Um, I know I don't know if there is an any option over here. Maybe there is an option here. Okay, this one is showing all the notes. Cool. Um, so yeah, if you might if you notice the the sound actually is running without you need to adjust the uh, the keyframe. Uh, you don't need to jump to any frame. It will make sound regardless. So be careful when you plug and plug, it might be too strong for your speaker. But yeah, so we can use sine wave and uh, let me try other wave. Square, triangle. Triangle and sine normally sounds the smoother. The other one is a bit strong. And normally you want to use between 60 and 100, but you can go a bit higher. 
Um, so yeah, that's what you can play with and oops, that's really strong. You can also play with the amplitude, the offset, other parameter. So from his demo, uh, he has a lot of example here. You, you, you should take a look. Um, but what's interesting is that you can use also oscillator on top of another oscillator. So hopefully we're gonna generate like a, some kind of uh, sound that's similar to ambulance or police. That sounds like a, like a Tibetan monk or sometimes if you are on top of a tram, if you are in Melbourne, you can hear this kind of sound. Let me try a different one. Triangle. Now, that sounds a bit more interesting. We can hear some kind of vibrations. I can't remember, there's one setting that allows you to create like an ambulance kind of voice, an uh, ambulance kind of sound. This sounds like some kind of laser, but you can basically spend some time to try to make like a noise, any kind of noise that you can think of. And you have MIDI input, pitch bending, piano. I haven't tried piano, but piano is okay. It seems to be connected to MIDI. Um, so I don't know how this works yet, but this is this could be interesting. For now, I'm just be focusing on the oscillator. So let's say with let's say we if with the oscillator, let's say if we kind of mix uh, sphere chalk or animation nodes with it. So I'm gonna jump to sphere chalk. I, I don't have animation nodes installed on this one, uh, but with sphere chalk, we can use the remote control. So there's an object node remote control, and here, let's try just. Um, this guy to go into this node, node 3, and then find this uh, oscillator and try to control the frequency using uh, float, using a number, for example, or using um, random number. We're gonna try both. So plug this, and you can see the frequency is changing over there. Plug this. Now we are controlling this guy using um, spread chop. So we can use a random number, for example. Plug the random number and let's make just one number between 60 and 120. There you go. That's a. That's how you do it and if, if you do it with spare chalk you can start to implement like a frame now if I'm changing frame it's gonna change the, the sound change the frequency okay that's too loud maybe use triangle
See how it's changing frequency based on the frame. It's generating random frequency and then sending the data into audio nodes. So yeah, that's a. I guess that's pretty cool. And let's say if we want to have some kind of visualizations, we can do a simple one like a quick. Uh, maybe just use Suzanne and this uh, viewer draw. And so, okay, this is gonna be Susan head, like the ghost of Susan. And then we can plug this into the matrix. And the random randomness could come from, could be the position of Susan. But we might need to give some multiplier. There you go. It's a bit dodge. I mean, it's just a random position generated here, but the position is in correspond with a uh, with the frequency, of course. That's actually really cool. The the offset and the amplitude. You can really play with this endlessly. Ah, uh, okay. No. Maybe this should be a smaller number. There. Oh. Okay, it's uh not so interesting but yeah you get the idea you can control because um, currently with the audio notes there isn't much of notes there's a couple you know they are really really powerful but there isn't much on map you can actually use a sine wave for example to control uh, the sound so it's gonna go up and down using sine wave even though it's similar like if you're using this and then plugging the sign into this guy it's like it's gonna do the same thing similar but yeah I guess this is a pretty good example for an introduction have a look at his video and then he's a uh, there's a thread on reddit also have a look and let's see what you can come up with so I'm also still kind of find a way to record the audio uh, out of blender I don't know how it's gonna work maybe if we can just click on this it's gonna record the audio but I'm not sure about that but uh yeah so that's a quick intro for into audio notes try making the installations uh, try to install the add-on and then test the notes yourself try to make random sound and then control it using spread job. maybe tomorrow I'll do this with uh, animation notes um, we'll see let me know what you think and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.